Easy skip. Zero reason to do this event and any CC that doesn't put it on blast is probably worth unsubbing from. He's not wrong. I went from being excited for Freya to genuinely thinking about quitting the game. Do they think Freya is Odin or Archer? I feel like my time playing Raid is coming to an end sooner than expected. You actually believe what these clowns tell you? When a CC does gambling streams, you should know what kind of addict you're listening to. I don't understand why a lot of people complain about CCs, and yet they still watch. Talk shit about CCs, but you're still riding dick? They're content creators that rely on demonstrating the content, acquiring champs to create videos so they get paid and continue producing the videos that you watch. They receive perks to support them in creating content for the game. Considering the demand on their account is likely far higher than yours. They pretty much have to build every champ that comes out so they can make content out of it for people like you. Man, this deck of fate is worse than a ditty party. Raid is the only game I know of that has inflation on in-game resources. Shoot, Obidus Joe, you right though. But now I'm even more excited for Godforge, Fodge, skipping this out based on principle. Mickey Mouse is straight up just slapping us across the face, going, oh, you're gonna buy it anyway, mother The deck of fates for Freya is out. I don't really know what's going on, but I do know a little bit because I've been seeing what some of the other CCs are talking about in the Discord, in the content creator Discord. From what I've been hearing, or what I've been seeing, I should say, in that Discord, again, I haven't seen anybody's video, I haven't been checking out the news or anything, I did pull up a bunch of these um, Reddit posts, and I can kind of gain a sense of what's going on, but I don't know the specifics. What I do know, based on the conversations that I was seeing in the content creator discord the asgardian deck of fate one isn't shards we all thought it was going to be shards again you can speculate you can guess you can guesstimate make an educated guess but we never know and polarium likes to keep us in the blind so that we don't you know make informed decisions two what actually ended up happening is champ training and soul stones and i think they did this for rathalos no not rathalos um Alatreon Blademaster. The souls that we pulled were worth a lot more in that last deck of fates versus what they are now. I think some uh, other content creator said it in the Discord um, with the community managers that it's now half the point value of what it was last time. Why did Polarium do this? Money, probably. They want to basically milk. Like, we, we already know what they're doing, right? I'm not mad at Polarium, but I'm also not going to support this because I feel like if if... And the reason I'm bringing this up was because I was going to do a huge soul stone video. I need souls, I need blessings for my champions, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna wait for some other event. And the main reason I'm doing that is because I don't want Polarium to think that my participation, and again, one person isn't going to make a difference, but I like to think, and it makes me feel, I mean, I'm not really stressing over this because it's a game, but I'd like to think in some small way, right? That Polarium might see, okay, well, a lot of people aren't participating in this event, so maybe we shouldn't do this again, right? The best way to fight a company is with your wallets or without participating. And on top of that, if you don't like something, you just turn your eyes away from it or you just don't participate in it and you'll be less stressed about it. Real life example is my wife and I used to go to Disneyland. We were annual pass holders. We were showing up all the time. This was back in 2019, before COVID-19. My wife and I used to love Disney. We were doing Disney Plus. We were buying Disney merch. We were very supportive. It was during a time what we call the golden age of Disneyland. My wife and I really felt like, hey, Disney actually cares about the people that come to Disneyland. They want us to feel happy. They want us to have a great experience. And, you know, that is as best as you can, I guess, derive from a company in terms of they quote unquote care about us because at the end of the day, we, we all know companies don't really, cor corporations don't really care. You know what I mean? But at least they put an effort to make you feel wanted. Nowadays, Disney doesn't do that. Disney cruises, the Disney hotels, the Disney parks. We used to show up whenever we wanted to. That was pretty nice. Now there's a reservation system and then they have the Genie Plus and, and then there's Disney Plus and the prices just keep going up and they're milking you guys every single way. The Lightning Pass, which used to be free, now you have to pay for with that stupid Genie thing. And it's, it's like, I don't want to get into it. My wife and I had our little stressing about it, how it's ridiculous. They just, it's obvious, it's blatant, it's in your face. Disney, I almost said Polarium, but Disney is just slapping consumers 
in the face with their Disney logo. Like Mickey Mouse is straight up just slapping us across the face going, oh, you're going to buy it anyway, motherfucker. Oh. That's the crazy thing, right? If Disney knows that they're so big and they've monetized and capitalized on everything, they're going to continue to do what they're going to do. And people, guess what, are going to keep consuming Disney because there are some diehard fans. There are no other options. That's kind of a big issue. Polarium and Disney are corporations. They're doing, a, I could go on and on about Disney and why my wife and I stopped going to Disney because we don't want to support Disney and their actions anymore, at least until changes happen. I don't know, they, they changed CEOs a few times, but still it doesn't feel like Disney. It's overpacked, it's so expensive, and it just keeps going up. Polarium, they know that currently there's nobody beating them in the gotcha game industry. Maybe Hell Hades when he comes out with his God Forge, but for now, they know that they're doing well. They know that people are going to participate in their events. Again, they don't care about the people who have small wallets or you know buy the Forge Pass or buy gem packs or maybe like a monthly pack here and there. They care about the, the Krakens. That's who they care about. Not to say that us giving them 10 bucks for the monthly pack or the, the gem pack isn't much. Obviously, that's, that's something and they prefer to have something than nothing. But guys, the Krakens who are spending thousands, maybe even tens of thousands on a weekly, monthly basis, they're the ones who are really lining their pockets, Plarium's pockets. That's who they care about. The thing is, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do with your information. I'm just letting you know what I'm going to do. What I was going to do was pull soul stones, but I'm not going to do that because I, I just can't support it. I don't want Plarium to think that I'm okay with this, that I'm going to participate in this. I don't want because they only care about the numbers. That, that's pretty much it, right? At the end of the day, even if the community managers and the people who are developing the game do care about the game and do care about the community and, and all that, the guys at the top, I promise you, they don't. They look at the numbers, they say, okay, well, how can we bump these numbers up? With that being said, and we can discuss this even further, I'm pretty sure I've gotten uh, quite a bit of my monologue out about this. Let's go ahead and um, look at some of the comments that we've got going on here. Starting off in Saf's video, then we're gonna move over to Reddit. Guys, this one might be a long one. Go ahead, get yourself a cup of coffee or a nice little glass of whiskey. Right now I'm having a nice glass of scotch. Polarium sticking hard to their motto. Better than nothing, not by much. Ouch, but so fucking true. What a bunch of scumbags. <laughs> no diddy. Uh, no 2x and nerfed points equals easy skip. Like incredibly easy. I'm skipping the Fusion 2. Yeah, I'm skipping the Fusion 2. When they announced the Asgard Divide, I was really excited for Freya, but now I'm even more excited for Godforge. Fudge. Just remember, there's a 70% chance that you have to flip all 40 cards. Yes, I've done quite a few Deck of Fates already, and in pretty much all of them, I'm pretty sure all of them, I've had to flip all of them. All cards. I don't think there was ever one where I got it early. There's a 91% chance you're going to have to flip at least 90 or 39 yeah, that sounds about right. Absolutely dirty. Even worse, no 2x. They can shove this dick up a deck up their money pit. Raid is the only game I know of that has inflation on in-game resources. Shoot. Obitus Joe. You right though. Skipping this out based on principle. There you go. Skipping it out just on principle. He articulated it better than I could. I spent like five, seven, eight minutes trying to explain what I was trying to explain, and this guy just said it in one sentence. They nuked the points. It's so bad, it's toxic, but I greatly appreciate all the effort you put into. And I just really wanna hit on this. You guys, if you're participating in this, even if you're you know, just the third party bystander, um, you know, I'm, not, I'm not telling you what to do, but just know that if you're participating in the events, those numbers get registered into Polarium's whatever analytics and they see it and for them, it's just a positive. Even if you're just pulling just to pull, um, they, that's, that's what they're receiving on their end. So just keep that in mind. Do what, do whatever you want. You, you will anyway. You should do whatever you want. Don't take what I'm saying as the end-all be-all. I'm just saying what I'm saying. And I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. You know what I'm saying? This is a game that is supposed to be fun and break and a break from the work grind. <laughs> Raid's a full-time job, bro. If you let it be. Amazing. They found a way to ruin it. Negative 40% value on your eternal soul stones. They cost the same. Negative 30% to champ training. I was prepared for this. Now because they did that, I can forget about it and do something else. I'm not even going to flip a single card, 
even if I accidentally earn the points to do so. That's without even mentioning they double the chance you have to go to the last card. Was gonna do this, had food ready, leveled, skipping now, not even pulling soul stones unless they do a 2x. The answer to how many I need always seems to be more than you have. Man, this deck of fate is worse than a Diddy party with how hard they're screwing us for points. Diddy approves. Jesus Christ. They could have at least given us a 2x. Seems like a perfect opportunity for the player base to send a message to Polarium and just ignore the event completely. Raid profit mode enabled. I feel like my time playing Raid is coming to an end sooner than expected. They should be doing everything possible to stop their player base from thinking, what the fuck am I doing? This is too much. Am I enjoying this? Etc. Well done, Polarium. I'm not questioning whether I should be playing the game at all. So much greed. They reduced the stone value so much. Are they crazy? It's not even that good of a champion. That's true. They got a new CEO a year ago. He needs to be fired. Originally based on the old points, I was going yes. Based on the new points, no. Not a game changer for an account, not worth the grind, exhausting stones, etc. Shiny One said, it is what it is. Generally, you're doing better off the reverse of what CCs are doing. I feel so disheartened by Polarium's blatant disrespect to their player base. Why is no one covering the fact that you also need food champs for training? That also means shards. Usually people are out of food champs by the time a new event is up. Polarium, what the fuck is this? I always expect the worst from Polarium, and they still managed to surprise me. Eternals are only 3k, skipping this one. Fuck you, Polarium. Come uh, scum lords, what kind of monkey do they have running the company? Probably well-paid data scientists who can work out what people will spend their money on. Again, company, raid, rooted in gambling. They have years of data, human psychology. They know what they're doing. Once again, I was prepared to burn a ton of resources, and Polarium found a way to stop me. Great model there. I was 100% going to do it, really wanted def up for arena, but Mithrala will do. A little ignorant here, what would a normal amount or points be per stone or champ level be? It was 100 for mortals, 1000 for immortals, and 5000 for eternals last time around. That's a huge drop. When I saw this, I was like, it's time to grab some popcorn and head to reddit. Polarium is back to their old ways. BT dubs, Frey is not good. You need to have a balance between greed and sense. I really wanted Freya and was willing to go ham on energy stones and was planning to purchase more energy or stones to make it happen. With the current point total, it makes absolutely no sense. And this is how you lose mid spenders. Whales and Krakens already pulled her, or probably already pulled her. Hell, to be honest with you guys, they probably are still gonna do this deck of fate to get a plus one or another Freya. I went from being excited for Freya to genuinely thinking about quitting the game. Guys, do you know how crazy you have to fuck up to have your players saying, yeah, you know what? I'm going to head out. <laughs> what the? F Th this is not the first guy we've read who's talking about just thinking about quitting the game now. It's not just that you feel unappreciated as a player. It literally feels like Polarium is saying, if you don't pay more, then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want you. I'm trying so hard to like the game, but Polarium is doing everything in their power to fucking stop me unappreciated as a player that's a kicker right there they fucked over even the other half of people not just the guys that were hoping for the shards deck of fate polarium needs to be studied just casually pulling for free mound frags hey there you go i'm pissed i was planning on going for freya this is bullshit this is the first time i've legit been mad at this game guys it's just the game i know this shit sucks but remember do not invest too much into the game. Don't stress too much about the game, guys. I'm not even surprised that they did this and I'm not letting it get to me. And I'm not saying like, oh, well, look at me, I'm so cool. No, I'm just saying like, I, I feel like a lot of end gamers could probably resonate with me. Once you've experienced this so much, you kind of just learn to roll with the punches or you just learn to not stand in the way of punches. You know what I mean? So if you feel like, hey, um, you know, this kind of sucks and you feel emotionally invested or whatever you want to call it. If you feel any type of way about it, it's not going to get better. I don't think I'm, I'm like 90, 99 percent sure it's not going to get better. In fact, I'm almost 99 percent sure it's going to get worse. So as always, don't invest too much into the game. I, I'm, I'm recommending I'm highly strongly encouraging you to not invest too much into the game to just kind of, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Enjoy the game for what it is, a video game. And that's it. What an abysmal bad business move. I can't understand this. If I needed some extra souls to finish the event, I would have bought them no problem, but now this is just ridiculous. It's a nothing event for me, just wow. Do they think Freya is Odin or Archer? She's average, so why would they nerf everything and make it the worst deck to do? Exactly.
What does Polarium gain by making even whales annoyed by how few points both souls and champ training gives? Can we just all agree to skip this so Polarium learns the difference between what is good and bad? She doesn't look good for anything. She's average across most stuff. What a bunch of assholes, money grubbing losers. If I end up having to rebuild my CB teams because of a Wixwell nerf, I might just say hell with it and find a new pastime. I guess we're lucky they didn't do shard pulls. Probably would have reduced the points where you need to pull 50. <laughs> God damn. I flipped one card and it was green. A single frag for Freya. They don't care. Whales will spend and addicts won't quit. Easy skip. Zero reason to do this event and any CC that doesn't put it on blast is probably worth unsubbing from. He's not wrong. If anybody was asking for my opinion, it, it hasn't changed. It's probably only uh, been fortified from before I started reading everybody's comments. Don't support this. If you can, I would strongly encourage you to just wait and not pull your soul stones. Don't feed into their analytics because every time you pull or support any of the events, it, it bumps up those numbers and they take it the wrong way. You need to do your best to um, not pull and maybe pull off of this event. And that's probably the best thing that you can do right now. I'm not telling you what to do. Again, I would never do that. I'm just saying, if one was to try to give Polarium any resemblance of a fuck you, this is probably it. Polarium, we can go lower. Best thing I ever did was leave the game. Done playing, done spending. It was fun while it lasted. Freya was crazy overhyped. Uh, I mean, I, I tested her. I wasn't too impressed. Us longtime players know how Polarium operates by now. They'll throw out a ridiculous event like this and everybody gets pissed at them. Then a little later, they'll throw out a bone like they did with Ninja. Then the players will love Polarium again. These guys know what they're doing. They know how to piss us off. Then they know how to get us back. Exactly. It's like Polarium doesn't want us to play their game anymore. What's the point of making a mini game so frustrating and unrewarding like this? I think I remember seeing somebody else in one of my YouTube comments talking about how Polarium is just at the end of their ropes. I don't necessarily agree with this because I still think that Polarium has a long way, a, a long way to go. I still think they're going to be around in five years. That's just speculation. But this guy was basically saying, I forgot who exactly it was, but he was saying that Polarium is planning to just jump ship and they're just trying to milk every little bit from their... Krakens, their community as they can, as much as they can. And then they're just going to drop the game cold turkey and move on to the next project. What do you guys think about that if you're still here? I must be new. I don't see the problem. It's a completely new event. They apparently told the CCs. That's what it is from Ash's newest video. I stay on the Reddit RSL sub to remind me every now and then why I quit. Posts like these help me solidify the decision. Y'all are expecting too much from Polarium, owned by a gambling machine manufacturer. This is madness. Madness. This is... Polarium! This fight's still going. The Thor's going ham. It pisses people off and yet they still go for the Deck of Fates. MTG Jedi posted a video complaining about the Deck of Fates, yet he still completed the event before CBC. Wait, what? MTG Jedi posted a video complaining about the Deck of Fates, then participated or completed it? I don't know. HH posted a video too, realized that there was a scam, complained about it, yet completed the event. I thought he'd put his foot down for a moment. Same with Nubs. Boy briefly suspended his vacation to make a video and completed the event before CBC. I just don't get it. You can complain all you want. It won't matter if you still do the event. Polarium wins and it makes you look like a clown slash addict. The very fact that you complain about the point system and still complete the event is absolute nonsense. I guess they win too. Those guys receive perks from Polarium, right? We're still talking about this? Paid actors? Win-win situation? You know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. Let's leave this thing. We're gonna pull- I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Calm down. I'm calm. Cal calm down. I'm kidding. I'm not going to be participating in the deck of fates. I would have spent 50 to 100 if it was a good deal. Spudzy! Resources. I will pull all souls because I have soul stones saved up for this exact reason. Even though the event sucks, this is still the best guaranteed return I could get on my soul stones. However, I will not burn all my resources, just the souls. I won't have to spend gems, very few brews to finish the decks, as I got 36,000 from my points. Play the game how you want, bro. The best guaranteed return? I'd probably have to think about it more. What do you guys think if you're still here? I think his thinking is on top of getting your blessings, you're getting whatever is in the deck of fates plus Freya. So I, I guess there's some truth there. They're on different roles. They make video, so they have to pull whatever champ they could get so that they could make content using that champ. They complained about the doff nerf points on behalf of other players. Nothing wrong with that. I can see that. I can see that. If they're letting the community know that it's a bit of a scam, I feel like it's a great thing, regardless of whether they had to deal with it or not. Yes and no. 
part of me wants to say it's something along the lines of walking the walk and talking the talk you know what i mean but i'm not gonna dive into it oh look at this they have test server access that's true oh it's only limited it's a limited thing they open it for a week then they close it that's why they have to often do polls on what content uh what content viewers want because they have limited time i didn't know that a week is a long time to mess around with limitless resources yeah that's true i feel like a week is a long time especially if you're doing youtube full-time basically you don't have to go do a full-time job yeah if i was a cc hell yeah i would these guys are making a living not all of us from their channels. I won't bash them for spending or participating in the grind. The reality is that this event doesn't piss off CCs in the slightest. For an example, before I read more about what he's gonna say, uh, the reason it doesn't piss me off is because I don't let it get to me. Uh, I'm After this, I'm gonna have another drink and then I'm gonna continue watching a Netflix series with my wife. In fact, they can't wait for these type of events because they know there's going to be an outrage in the so-called community, which they can leverage into views, clicks and likes on their videos. The CCs will grab, oh, well, let me talk about this first. Yes. The CCs will grab Freya without hesitation because it's all in the future content generation, potentially showcasing Freya down the line for viewers. Their complaints are just lip service to, to those watching. There's also an oversaturation of CCs in Raid, not enough content uh, to make videos on, so naturally CCs will pounce on any little tidbit that services just to make a video on it. Yes, Raid at its heart is a resource management game. Some events and tournaments will be worth the investment, Others won't. Player monitors engagement and spending. If they run an event and it fails to generate the same level of engagement and drive sales of resources needed for the event, they're certainly going to make changes. Issues arise when players treat the game as a champ collector game. However, Raid has always been and will always be extremely punishing for those that play the game to collect champions. You either pay to the nose to get your hands on all the cool champions, or you'll just have to get extremely lucky like the casino aspect of the game, yeah? This is not the first or the last time Polarium screws everybody. If CCs were to quit making content because Polarium did something unethical, they would all have gone a long time ago. I appreciate every single CC who's raised their voice on this matter, but I don't expect them to boycott the game. Look, man, I think Polarium fucked us hard here, and I agree. Complaint videos get clicks. Yes, they're addicts. You can't be mad at the Scorpion for being a Scorpion and doing Scorpion things, yeah? It's in their nature. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, complaint videos get clicks. In, in fact, if you look at a lot of my videos, a lot of my videos that are that appear to be negative have quite a bit of views versus the positive ones. How do I know? I ran an experiment. I put out a video, just one video, uh, somewhat recently, I think like a week or two ago, talking about how the game is good and be positive. And I tried to put out positivity. Guess what? That video did not do well. But every video before that, and I'm assuming this video is going to do very well too, or quote unquote very well, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get over a thousand. And for me, that's good because that's where I'm, I'm at right now, being a small channel. It, it is what it is, right? That's just the nature of humanity. Positivity gets dislikes in the news or on magazines, things that are negative, things that are fueled by drama. Those are the things that interest people. That's what gets you to watch or click. You ever just sit there, you're not really paying attention to a TV show, but then you start hearing fighting or you hear violence or you hear yelling or drama and then boom, now you're hooked and you want to see, oh, well, what's going on? What's what's going on in the TV? I know that I, I'm, I'm the type of guy that does that. My wife will be watching whatever uh, cozy, you know, YouTube girl that she's watching at the time. And then if I hear fighting or yelling, I stop what I'm doing and I turn around and I'm like, oh, what are you watching? The numbers don't lie also. Uh, again, look at my videos. The video that I did talking about being positive and, you know, don't don't stress too much about the game, uh, that didn't perform too well. But all the other ones where I'm talking some negative shit about, th those do well. One, they're CCs. It's their jobs. Outside of content creators, participation in this event is way down from what it normally would have been. Less than half of the whales in my clan are doing it, including some who have overcome the sunk cost fallacy. They started dumping resources into the event, realized how bad the value was, wrote off as spent soul stones rather than continue. Participation is non-existent. CCs at least have the excuse that they kind of have to do it for content, but otherwise you're right. And that's why Polarium's just laughing at all the complaint vids and comments and they continue to make monies. I don't hate whales or krakens, but since CCs are sending a message to the community and showing their disgust to this move by Polarium, they should not do this too as a sign of hate. You can't take CCs serious. Yeah, don't take it serious. CCs are basically Polarium's employees. No, because that would entail them paying us and they don't pay us money. Sure, they give us in-game resources, but the resources that we spend to make videos, uh, for most of us, I think, and maybe I'm just talking out of my ass here again, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think Darren actually pointed this out and I didn't explicitly realize this. For most of the content creators, 
Building a new champ takes a lot of resources. Making new teams requires a lot of resources that normally we wouldn't be able to just have on a daily or we would have to pay for and it's expensive. Polarium gives us that as a way to make more content. It's their expenditure for us to advertise for them. Some might look at that and say like, oh, you know, that's that's the equivalent of like, I don't know, $1,200. But I guarantee you, I'm not going to be spending $1,200 a month. If, if they gave me $1,200 a month, then I would be an employee for Polarium and yeah, so on and so forth. But uh, I don't necessarily agree with this. But if you're still here, let me know what you think. I guess if you look at the old days, I mean, everything functioned on trade, right? If anything has value, you do something for someone else and there's a trade. So maybe he is onto something. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The raid content creator program might be dog shit, but you can't deny they give them plenty of drama videos to make. I don't understand why a lot of people complain about CCs and yet they still watch. That doesn't make sense to me. You're gonna talk shit about CCs, but you're still riding dick. You actually believe what these clowns tell you. When a CC does gambling streams, you should know what kind of addict you're listening to. They're doing it to make content on Freya. Not really hard to understand. Doesn't mean you should do it if you don't have the resources. I don't think you can put the blame on CCs for completing the DOF. It's literally their day job to play the game. So even if they spend more money than usual doing the DOF, they still come out with a profit. But the fact that they're calling it out as a scam and letting the community is important or letting the community know is important. I'd be upset if they were like, OMG, you has to get this deck of fates, even though much of the community was calling BS. The problem is it's their job. They have to make content to feed their families, so they're in a bad position. They're content creators that rely on demonstrating the content, acquiring champs to create videos so they get paid and continue producing the videos that you watch. They receive perks to support them in creating content for the game. Fair. Good job. Considering the demand on their account is likely far higher than yours. I like this guy. Skill Mammoth, I like you, dude. They pretty much have to build every champ that comes out so they can make content out of it for people like you. Exactly. You however can pick and choose out of just the best pull when they pop up calm down dude not a big deal you're getting caught up and it makes you look like a clown I'm